Hopefully it will work. What's up guys? Welcome back to Flipping the Script Fishing. One thing I love about the South is the intermittent warm periods that fall in the winter time. It's never too cold for too long. During these time periods, I like to go below the dam or where there's good current and focus on fishing for some strikers. Now these big fish will hit a whole array of different lures, but there's a couple qualities that I find will get more strikes. I also find that these fish will hit best and more consistently just after dark and just before daylight. Now this footage was captured just after a short trip that my wife and I took. I had just dropped her off and returned to the dam to wait for sunset. Now if you missed that video, you really missed out. Here's a sneak peek on the action on how to catch winter bass more consistently. Look at that fish. Big old, I think it's a zoom uh, speed swimmer or something like that on a three quarter ounce head. Make sure to check that out as soon as you get the opportunity. Now as you wait for sunset, what you'll notice is there will be smaller fish that will get active and start feeding. Now this will include spotted bass, smallmouth bass, white bass, and all sorts of smaller species. But just before the striper get active, these smaller species will completely shut down. Now these big fish require a lot of oxygen, so cool water and current is a must. If you can find a good shallow flat, close by, deep and moving water, then you're likely to find some strikers. Focus your efforts on these flats with big, flashy, loud lures, and you're likely to get some action. Now you'll notice as the daylight dwindles, I pick up more louder lures that have a good flash and a good thump in the water. Now as I wait for the striper to get active, I can pick up several bass, good size ones too. on a scrounger head with a swim bait that I got from Eddie Evans. Still producing for me, Eddie. Thank you. I've also found one of the keys to having good consistent bites at night is to have a good light source close by. That light source will attract bugs, those bugs will attract bait fish, and the bait fish will attract those bigger fish. And as you're waiting for those big stripers to get active, you can throw a little swim bait and catch plenty of white bass, which are a good eating fish good fun action. I'm not sure we catch a lot more of these today. Dark now. I'm a Kai Tech.
that I wanted to wait till it got dark. It's three casts in a row. Now here you can tell it's significantly darker and the fishing action had died down quite a bit on this smaller species. So I picked up a large suspended deep diving jerk bait. Now this particular jerk bait is made by Storm. It has really good flash and I knew that I could bounce it off the bottom. Because those bigger striper seem to really react to that erratic action. So I cast the jerk bait into that stronger current, cranked it down, and jerked it into the seam, and there I let it pause. I then wait for just a couple seconds and twitch it a couple more times and repeat that until I got bit. Yeah, 28 inches. I've had this storm deep jerk bait for a long time. Never, never really used it. I thought right now would be a good time to try it. There you go, 28, 28, 28 inch striper. It's exciting.
122 inches, let's say. Another good one. Same lure. Now, unfortunately, that jerking action will wear your shoulder out. So periodically, I'd pick up the small bait and I'd see if there's anything else biting in the area. Or if the striper would hit that smaller bait. Once my shoulder rested a bit, I went back and picked up that big jerk bait in the first cast. I caught myself another nice striper. Unfortunately, I had to get ready for work that night, so I had to call it quits a lot earlier than I wanted to. I hope these tips help you and help you catch a big stripe for the near future. Till next time, guys. Right now. Here, let's see me. Well, that's a wrap.